Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi. You're simply the best. Democrats. <laughs> Chairman John Burton, California Democratic Party, I'm here to say thank you to all of you. Our film about the American dream is really embodied in the person of our Chairman John Burton. Few people better embody the spirit of California Democrats than John Burton. His family his family has lived the American dream, and he wants that for every other person in our country. John Burton, as you all know, is passionate and a practical idealist, a lifelong public servant, a man with a great intellect and a big heart. From the Bay Area to the State Capitol to Congress, he has remained a strong voice for justice and fairness for workers, for social, social services, uh, for the poor, the needy, and the homeless, for foster children, his special concern, and for our youth. On every issue, at every turn, John Burton has been a force for solutions for our most pressing challenges. I want to thank him for leading the effort in the State Senate to pass the nation's, first in the nation, mind you, state law requiring automakers to reduce emissions. That's a very, very and transformative piece of legislation. We thank him, and I thank all of you for all that you did in 2012 and before that for making California true blue California. Let's hear it for our great state chairman, John Burton. There you go. And thank you. And all that we have said about the accomplishments in the campaign, of course, could not have been done without each and every one of you. I know that firsthand as a former chair of the California Democratic Party, you have taken organizing, not agonizing, to a new height. And uh, all of those successes depend on every one of you making one more call, knocking on one more door, and the rest. Uh, thank you for leading the way, not only politically, but in innovation and in progressive action on the ballot, on the campaign trail, and in state offices and in the Congress. California Democrats were sex successful up and down the ballot from local, state, and federal context. To, pro, uh, to propositions, to ballot measures. Now, this is my special thank you to you. Working together with California Democrats in the lead, we partnered with John Burton and all of you to elect 11 new congressional Democrats to the House of Representatives. 11. Jared Hoffman, Ami Berra, Eric Swalwell, Julia Brownlee, Tony Cardenas, Gloria Negretti McLeod, Raul Ruiz, Mark Ticano, Alan Lowenthal, Juan Vargas, Scott Peters, and we reelected in tough races Lois Capps. John Garamendi, who is here, and Jerry McNerney. Thank you also for re-electing Mike Honda and Judy Chu, who are with us here today. Judy Chu, Mike Honda. In doing so, I think it's really important for you to know this, in doing so, we elected the most diverse caucus of any party, not only in the history of America, in the history of civilization. And in civilization, there's never been a time when a party would be uh, in a chamber, in a parliament, 
where women, minorities, LGBT would be the majority of that caucus. It's, it's an, I think that's a, quite a remarkable thing. I say to my male colleagues, now we are in a better place. We respect you, and we're not better than you, but our caucus and our Congress is better for all of this diversity. We want more. We want more. And with your help and in the lead, we reelected Senator Dianne Feinstein, who has one of the biggest majorities ever in the Senate of the United States. And we reelected Barack Obama, President of the United States. And Vice President Joe Biden to stand up for our troops and our veterans, to expand equal rights and protect a woman's right to choose to enact and enforce and implement quality, affordable health care for all Americans, to protect Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and to protect the middle class. But California Democrats are not done yet. We're just getting started. What are we? We are just getting started. Now. As you saw from the film, House Democrats are re um, reigniting the American dream. That is our theme, to strengthen our democracy and to save the middle class. In order to do that, we must restore confidence. We must restore confidence in our economy by creating jobs, investing in infrastructure and innovation in our country. We must raise the minimum wage. We must do all of those things. We must restore confidence in who we are as a people by passing comprehensive immigration reform, and we will, and we will. We must have confidence in public safety by passing gun violence protection, and we will. And I'm so pleased that we were able to pass after a long delay, but uh, the president signed the Violence Against Women Act, protecting our Native American community, our newcomers to America, uh, uh, immigrants as well as LGBT members. And we must preserve the planet. Thank you, John Burton, for starting, uh, leading the way in California. I'm so glad Senator Boxer is where she is, chairing the Environmental Committee, uh, to get that done. Now, there are two threats to the middle class that I want to talk to you briefly about this morning. One of them is, well, let me tell you first how important the middle class is to a democracy. And it's been that way for a long time, all the way back until Aristotle said, it is manifest that the best political community is formed by citizens of the middle class. And th those states are likely to be well administered in which the middle class is large and strong. Well, in our country, we want a middle class to be large and strong, and we want to build ladders of opportunity for those who aspire to be in the middle class to make it even stronger. So what do we see as the two threats? What do we see as the two threats? We see income disparity. It is something that is growing in our country, and we must win the election so that we can do something about it. If we're going to restore confidence, we have to it, think of this. In the 70s, in the 70s, the uh, average CEO made about 40 times what the average worker made. Today, CEOs make about, I said 40, make over 350 times. Think of that income disparity, that gapping hole. Uh, Frank Abrams, in those days, in the 70s, he was the chairman of Standard Oil of New Jersey, and he said, this, this CEO, he said, the job of management is to maintain equitable and working balance among the claims of variously affected uh, interest groups, stockholders, employees, customers, and the public at large. Right now, we have a form 
of, of leadership among CEOs that's strictly about shareholders. That's not working for the middle class. We absolutely must make a change in how the disparity in income is making our, our economy less fair in terms of shared responsibility, shared participation in prosperity. In a Bible of corporate managers in 1980, in search of en excellence, Tom Peters and others wrote, only when we look at excellent companies do we see full employment policies even in time of recession. Caring runs through the managers of those institutions, which are the successful ones. So we have to value work. We have to honor our workers. I thank all of our friends in labor who are here today. Thank you for being here. And one way to end that income disparity is to educate the American people. Nothing uh, narrows the disparity or brings more money into the Treasury than educating the American people. That's why I'm so thrilled the President has preschool for all kids, earliest childhood education, to lifetime learning. Another threat to the middle class is money in politics. We must reform the system and have clean campaigns. We must disclose. Where is this money coming from? Please sign the petition. We must amend the Constitution uh, to overturn Citizens United. And we can do that. We must and support LA and other uh, uh, areas that are having uh, initiatives in their city councils and, and uh, county commissions to support disclose and, uh, and, and overturning Citizens United. Third, we must lower the role of money, and that's why I want you to support Cal Dem 214 that you heard about at the beginning. We must empower small donors, reduce the role of big money, and we must this is my dare. Disclose, amend, reform, and empower. Stop the voter suppression that goes on so that everybody, instead, everybody can have a right to vote. So that's why the election is important to us. We can't do much of this unless we have a Democratic majority in the House of Representatives to, and, and have victories across the country at every level of government. Thank you for what you did in 2012 and before. Thank you for what you will do to hold the seats we just applauded and to add more from California. The California Democratic Party and Dem 14 will help the President Obama take the country forward to raise the minimum wage, pass immigration reform, end gun violence, provide a uh, quality affordable health care, quality affordable child care for our families. Together we are committed to reigniting the American dream, to build ladders of opportunity for all who want to work hard, play by the rules, take responsibility. Uh, we have work to do. We just got started. Thank you, California Democrats. We just got started. You're simply the best.